Good morning everybody. Today I've decided to uh, do a little bit of uh, fossil prep and we're going to be doing a little bit of fossil prep on this little fella just here that I found at uh, Sands End. It's either a fat dac or it's a catecholioceros. One of the two. But anyway, it's got a nice uh, shelling pattern on there and it goes right through to the mouth border. So uh, let's prep it down now. I'm going to do a little time lapse because I've been asked to do quite a few uh, prep videos. So here's the, uh, the first one. And uh, we're going to get this uh, little DAC or this little cat, whichever it is. It does look like it could be a catecholioceros. So let's uh, do a little time lapse and uh, let's see how it is. Let's see if it has a centre. Right, so here it is. You can see the keel on there. It's got a nice really big fat keel, hasn't it? Straight to the mouth border just here. So, it's either a fat DAC or it's a catecholioceros. I'll put some pictures on the website when I'm finished. See what the experts have to say. But I'm sure it looks like a cat. Let's start some prepping. Right, so you can see how the uh, the inner whirl is coming out now. It's uh, full of iron pyrite in the middle, but it's uh, it's coming out not too bad. And then when I've got all the way to the centre, we'll do the uh, the finishing tool, the uh, the air abrasion, and then we'll put some liquid beeswax on it, and that should look really nice. Well, 
that's 90% complete it doesn't have a centre but uh, most of it's there it's took me around about an hour but with the time lapse it's probably about six minutes it's not too bad now it's time for the next stage some uh, air abrasion get some of the rock around here and uh, around there just clean it up a little bit make a nice mouth border just there and uh, yeah that'll be a, a nice ammonite then we'll put the uh, liquid beeswax on it and uh, that's not a bad find at all is it found at uh, Sands End but it's a lovely find well worth prepping Right, so the next stage of uh, preparation is the uh, the air abrasion. So this is my kit here. Got a vacuum cleaner here. Turn it on and we'll start the air abrading. This is uh, for the finer detail work. So I'll be using uh, calcium carbonate, uh, the uh, the soft powder first. I've got the, uh, the iron powder, but we'll start with the calcium carbonate first. So uh, let's do a little time lapse and uh, let's see how we uh, can turn this ammonite into a really beautiful fossil. Well, there we go, we've uh, done some air abrasion on there now, it's 90% complete, it's still in the raw yet, that's why it's still a bit dusty, I've just uh, just finished it with the air abrasion, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the mouth border just here, and then it'll be time for uh, the beeswax.
Right, so here it is with the uh, the finished product. All the prepping sorted now. There's the mouth border just there. Shame it hasn't got a centre, but I think this is probably looking like a fat dac. I don't think it is a catecholioceros because they're normally the middles are in a bit. So I think that is a fat dac. But I will put it on the site. But I'm pretty sure that's a, that's a fat dac. Now I've uh, prepared it. A lot of people have asked me, uh, do I provide a prepping service? Well, at the minute, I don't. But I'm thinking about doing a few bits and pieces. But at the minute, I'm just prepping my own stuff. I've been prepping for uh, four years now. And I'm getting a lot better at it, and it's looking it's looking quite nice. So we'll put some uh, liquid beeswax on there, and we'll see how it comes out. Right, so here it is, the uh, the fat dac, and now we're going to put some uh, polishing liquid on it, some uh, liquid beeswax. See how it turns out. It's really good this uh, liquid beeswax. I get it from Zoic Paleotech. It really brings the shine out on the fossil. Look at that. Look at the shine on that. So there we go, there's the finished product. A really fat deck. I mean, look at the keel on that. Beautiful keel. Really nice mouth border as well. So I can't go wrong with that. Three hours and you've got a, a beautiful, beautiful deck. I thought it was a cat at first because it had such a big keel but uh, no that's a deck. So there we go we've uh, now finished the ammonites. You never really know what you've got until you start prepping. I thought that was a, a catecholioceros but it turns out it looks like it's, a, it's just a fat deck but uh, it's a really nice one as well. Right so here it is all nicely polished now so that is a fat dac that I found at uh, Sands End uh, I thought it was a cat because it had a really big fat keel but prepping it down no it turns out that uh, it's just a dac uh, didn't have a sensor but I didn't know that when I started prepping it, it took me three hours and uh, you know that's what prepping is it takes a lot of time but uh, yeah that'll make it into my collection it's not too bad is it so like I said the next one that I've got I'm pretty sure is a cat the next one that I've got to do I've got to also do uh, some work on my me, uh, me, me bone block that uh, she and Aaron gave me uh, it's taken a long time but you've got to have a lot of patience when prepping because there's a lot of delicate bones and structures in there so I've been on it about 120 hours now and uh, I'm getting down to it, there's quite a few bones in there but uh, you know every now and again I like to break off from that and uh, do some ammonites which we've uh, done today for you so if you've liked this video please like and subscribe and uh, leave me a message if you uh, do want some more prep videos and I'll see you in the next episode thank you for watching